Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a haul video. Yes, there are lots and lots and lots of packages here. Um, I already filmed the video and then I realized you guys that I had my address like way out there. <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> um, anyway, so this is my haul video. I do want to say if you can hear any background noise that's like little chomping and, and I'll actually uh, move my camera to let you see. We got B down there in her little cubby. She's normally like in there, but she's got a bone, so she's chomping on that. And apparently, the only place that you can chomp on your bone is uh, next to your mama in the craft room. So, let's get into the haul. I did go ahead and black everything out. But first, I want to show you this lovely card that the ever so fabulous subby of mine and friend, Sue Williams, made and sent to me. Isn't that cute? That is an awesome job. And it's got a cute little note inside of it. And she said when she read this, <clears throat> excuse me, she thought of me as it's from the Tim Holtz snarky sticker book. And it says, I don't like to think before I speak. I like to be just as surprised as everyone else about what comes out of my mouth. True statement. I need a t-shirt that says that. And then when we were doing the mixed media class on the embossing, she made these little bees. For B, for B. So I'm gonna get these on a layout, but look, look at how shiny they are. Oh, so pretty, I love them. Is that a die cut, Sue? Cause I absolutely am gonna need to like order me one of these. It's so pretty. So yes, thank you so much, Sue. I really appreciate that. And I'm gonna put this card and that fun little sticker on display Ooh, in my craft room. So let's dig in. So this top box right here, I don't know if anybody has heard of this or not. I have an HP printer and this is the Insta Ink and I think it only, it's only for HP, but my printer orders ink. I think it's on the front still and I just got a new one. Um, so whenever it's low on ink, it orders it, but this is like the fourth package I've got in the last couple weeks. So I've got more ink than I could ever possibly use, but if you have an HP printer, go to hpinstainc.com, and I get, I'm in no way affiliated with them, but it's just a really good deal. I get like 300 prints a month. It's like $5.99 plus ink, so they, other than the $5.99 that you pay for the ink and the actual printing, um, you just have to buy photo paper. So this is like an excellent deal for us that print a lot, because ink's expensive. All right, so we're going to move this big box out the way and let's just get right into this okay this is beautiful so this I'm so excited now this is from some assemblage required uh -oh. that goes somewhere I gotta figure it out oh and that's MK's shop. Oh, look at that. I love your little handmade embellishments, MK. Look at that, that is so pretty. I can't wait to use that on something. And then this cute little thank you gift, all these little wood cut stars. Okay, so <clears throat> I ordered two of these uh, steampunk hearts and they're the wood veneer. And you guys know I love MK's wood veneer. We got that. I have got the back to school, which I'm so happy this came because I'm gonna use this on the uh, YouTube hop that I am doing with this, um, that Sarah Scraps puts on um, in a couple weeks. So I'll be using those. I got the Eat Sleep Game Repeat. And look how thick that is. Oh, I love her wood veneer. So that will be for my son. I also got some gamer controllers. So this is an Xbox and I think this is the PlayStation. And I think that is the Nintendo. Uh, my son was here, he would totally tell me. I know that's an Xbox for sure, something, something. So I got two of those. And then I got this cute little, these, these two little gamer ones. Oh, and this, I had to have this. I see MK do this in a, um, and her what 31 days of cut files and she had a bigger one but I love the wood veneer so that will be like perfect to like put a photo in 
Oh, I did get to eat, sleep, game, repeat. Oh, the husband's cooking dinner in there, so she just bolted because she's thinking she's going to get something. She's not. Game over. This guy, it was just really cute, right? Like, he was just super, super cute with the little hat and the little eyeglass and the little mustachio. I have the little heartbeat, which, okay, this is like my son. It's his heartbeat with a game controller in it, right? Super cute. And then I got this fabulous cut file, which is like um, a Scott Fishies, and it's got like some... Well, I guess you would call it seaweed, but it's going to be pretty. And I'm going to back that in for one of my beachy layouts from vacation. So super love all of this stuff. Oh, yeah. Did you guys know that I decided that <laughs> from here on out, instead of buying from, you know, the big companies, I'm going to order from all my crafty peeps that have little stores once a week. I kind of went crazy and ordered from all of them the first week, so shh, our secret. All right, next up is this beautiful one, and it is Scrapping Reflections with is Sandy, State Goddess on YouTube. So I ordered some more stencils. So let's open this up. Okay, so my son interrupted me, and then I did the rest of the haul video, and I didn't hit record, you guys. <laughs> so, take like 47. So, this is the Scrappy Reflections one. Oh. Oh. Is there more? No, okay. <laughs> Alright, so, I got three of these uh, cute little dolphins, and as I was saying before, I'm going to use these for when we went to the aquarium in Clearwater, which actually is a rehabilitation and rescue center for sea life. And if you've ever seen Dolphin Tail or Dolphin Tail 2, I met Winter, who is the dolphin that inspired that. She's the one that she lost her tail from a fishing boat or a crab line. I believe it was a crab line. And they built her a prosthetic um, fin here. So, I think because that's their dorsal fin. I don't know what fin that's called. But yeah, so I'm going to use that when I showcase and do the, not showcase, when I do the layouts for all the dolphins that were there. And I got this cute little sand castle, right? I know. Love it because I'm going to use it for a uh, beach day. And then I got these two fabulous stencils. So, we have this one. Which is, it's a 12 by 12. If you guys have not picked up anything from any of these shops, please go do so. This is 12 by 12. It's got the florals and then a heart. And she even sent the heart. Did you see that? Boop. There's the heart. So you can like, you know, put that together and then you just have one big pretty picture. And then I have one of her mandalas. And I love these, and I cannot wait to use them. I have been beefing up my stencil collection lately because um, all the mixed media <laughs> needs a place to go. Okay. And next up. It's my favorite, favorite company of all time, which is Brutus Monroe. And they had three new chroma mist release one is the fall and one is the holiday bundle and then there's just another one but anyway so we've got the acorn the hunter auburn and cider in the fall collection which i'm going to swatch these and insert that footage later at the end and then for the christmas holiday bundle we have tinsel blue Holly Berry, Noble Fur, and Ornament Gold. So, ooh, I cannot wait to use those. I love me some Chrome in this. Except my Bruce Monroe, I have a whole cart dedicated to Bruce Monroe products. <laughs> and uh, us cutting full, guys. And then here's my next order. This is the latest release of just regular colors um, for the Chrome Mist. So I've got turquoise, pink, 
and magenta sparkle. Oh, coral doesn't want to play. <laughs> so there are those four. And then I've got yellow green, blue violet, and yellow orange. And the complete collection of Velveteen Glazes. I only have three of them, and only two of them I have. So I, I already have the Pink Flamingo and the Midnight Indigo. So those are just bonus extras. Then we have got the Grape Jam, and this is the, you know, this is the color. We have Blueberry Bushel. Beautiful Blush. Lima Bean. Okay, and look at these colors, you guys, like... Oh, that is gorgeous. And it burped on us. Banana split. Okay, pumpkin patch. Oh, wait a minute. Orange is like my favorite color. That's pumpkin patch. Cherry tomato. Happy Heather. Night sky. And fresh kale. I will swatch those as well. And last but not least, my order from Scrapbook Your Joy, which you know I was a guest designer for her way back in May of this year, 2021. And I went ahead and placed this order. Um, I do have some bungaloing coming with my pre-order from a cherry on top, but this is what I'm going to use my October daily for and probably into my November thankful albums. So are enough. So we've got the cute little puffy buttons and those are cute. These are epoxy stickers. So yeah, those are fun. The sticker book. Oh, I love fall. It's my favorite time of year. Um, dimensional stickers these cute little leaf embellishments and they're made of crepe paper that is so ingenious the thickers because they matched and the 6x12 a sticker sheet I also have the 6x8 paper pad and that is simply because these I can use to matte photos or do the little smaller embellishments and layering and I don't have to cut into a 12x12 sheet which it is definitely not like I don't have enough of it and I have the um, copper foil on acetate, the specialty paper. Look at that, that's so pretty. The 12 by 12 thicker chipboard sheet. And then the big 12 by 12 paper pad, right? And these do not repeat. I love that, I love that, I love that. Oh, there's so many fussy cut apart places. Um, I'll definitely like when they're only one sided because I can use the back side for white cardstock if I don't like the front. But as I've been through this now for a second time, not uh, seeing anything that I'm not gonna like. So yeah. All right. So if you not if you have not bought everything or anything, if you have not bought anything from some assemblage required MK's shop, please go do so. If you need any stencils, please go see Sandy over at Scrapping Reflections. Um, she actually has a lot more than just stencils. She has wood veneer and acetate, or not acetate, um, acrylic pieces. Totally awesome. And it's just really fun to support your crafty friends. Brutus Monroe, obviously, <laughs> they're my dream. Um, I'll have a link for them down below my affiliate link. And Scrapbook Your Joy, so go ahead and check them out. So I hope uh, I have enabled someone to buy something. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Well, you know what? No, not bye, because I'm going to insert my uh, swatches, so I'll be right back. All right, so I figured I'd just take you along for the swatching process. So apparently I, I'm all over the place. I put the fall collection here and the holiday collection here. I do have the pearl shimmer mist right here and this one's white. <laughs> so we are just going to start in. And this is how I swatch you guys. Make sure it's mixed up. Oh, beautiful. And I just put a nice, layer of color down it is going to seep through so that is the blue violet here is the turquoise i do it right here all on my glass board studio glass mat so it's easy to clean up 
if you are interested in anything from that shop i will have my link down below as well so that is the turquoise and then we have the yellow orange oh my goodness that was pretty that one's bumblebee yellow because of my bumblebee <laughs> then we have pink I usually just try to fill up the little area now we have magenta sparkle so we do need to mix that one up a bit <clears throat> Oh, so shimmery. This is why I love everything about Bruce Monroe. <laughs> oh, that one's going to get used a lot. I'm telling you guys, my cart's getting a little full. A little. I literally have two. I have the Rasta, the knockoff Rascod card. It's the one from Michael's. This is Coral. And I have two shelves now. The top is where I keep the kit, like what I'm using and working with. But two shelves now. <laughs> In my rolly cart full of Bruce Monroe. I don't know if these, these are not all going to fit in there. They're not. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. What a problem to have, right? Third world problems. Now, what do they call that? I don't remember. Okay, and I still have like all of these guys to fit in there, plus all the velveteen glazes. Oh no, Linda. Alright, the cider needs to be mixed up a little bit. What color is cider? Oh, it is like apple cider. <laughs> Auburn. Wait, does that need to be mixed up? No. Chrome mists are the best. Oh my goodness, look at that color. Are these not the most fabulous fall colors ever? Oh my god, they totally knocked out of the park. Oh, I am excited in so many ways. Acorn, oh, oh. I will never use any other thing. Um, and Hunter. Oh my goodness gracious, are you guys seeing all these fabulous colors? Oh, oh, I'm so ready for fall. All right, and then we have tinsel blue, which is a got some shimmer in it, so we got to mix that up a little bit. Where is tinsel blue? Oh, it's so pretty! Oh my goodness gracious! Oh, all right, you've got to head over to Burtis Monroe and purchase these things. Hollyberry, I'm a bad enabler. Oh, that does look like a hollyberry. Like, it's just like the, it's not like red, red. It's, it reminds me of a hollyberry. Holy poo. All right, and then we got ornament gold, which is going to have a shimmer in it as well. Oh, I'm super excited to see the gold, you guys. Okay. It's got just a hint of, yes. Yes, it's not like two gold, but it's got just a hint of gold. And then we have a noble fur because, you know, your Christmas tree. Oh, these are all so beautiful. All right. Okay. Ooh. See, it, it, it does bleed through you guys, but it's fine. This is just regular old, old copy paper, typing paper, whatever. All right, so I'm going to set up the Velveteen Glaze, and we're going to swatch that next.
Okay, I'm back. I have mod. I will get the SKU numbers at a later date. These are the Velveteen Graces, and they will go on shiny, but they are completely matte. So, I always tap them a few times just to make them settle. And then, yes, I'm the weird person that has to get everything out of the lid and I do try to keep them stored a hundred percent of vertical. All right. Okay, so now this is Happy Heather. I'm gonna make a mess. I do just have my rag right to the side and I will just uh, wipe that clean. So I just grab a little and I put a very thin layer on because I just really want to swatch out the color. Oops. All right, seriously though, I had to take a moment and like clean out my card. I had to rearrange and it was bad and it's, it's a good problem to have. Oh, my sky kind of blew up on my there. Okay. So yeah, this is this is what I do when I swatch you guys. I clean the top out because it gets you know shook up in packaging and shipping and you know oh night sky that is gonna be beautiful when it dries. And the, this is the Midnight Indigo, and that's the Pink Flamingo. I do have the Peach Bellini as well. Um, nope. These guys, I am going in order so that I don't smear my hand in it. If you want to know, that's, that's pretty much why I'm doing that. Because <sighs> I will. I'm a hot mess. If you've watched me for any amount of time, you're like, yes, you are, ma'am. Fresh Kale is a beautiful color. Too much. I feel like I don't have enough. I'm not representing very well on that one, anyway. And then I do just let these dry overnight, and then they will be like this. And that is what I pull. When I'm doing a mixed media, I just match my um, uh, mixed media with the collection I'm using. Sometimes I make the collect whatever color, you know, like whatever I kind of feel like using, to be honest. Like, sometimes I pull um, the collection first and then add some mixed media, and other times... Not so much. And this is Banana Split. Oh, these are so pretty. I got messy on Banana Split. It's a Banana Split, though, right? It's so loud. And now I'm a bean. Lima Bean is a beautiful lime green color. See, I just clean everything out of the top because uh, then it's not wasted. I'm gonna have to do this this way. Okay. Oh, you guys, I'm getting plans in my head. What to make? Cherry tomato. Only a couple more to go. I apologize. This was a little bit longer than I had intended. But I figured I would show you swatching rather than just show you the swatch. Oh, cherry tomato's pretty. we 
got next kids uh beautiful blush i'm sticking my hand in all kinds of green oh fresh kales all over the place it is this is why my hands are always different colors when i go to work they're like what were you doing i'm like uh i don't know watch my youtube channel Okay. So pretty. That one's beautiful blush. That is like the, the sweetest, palest baby girl color right there. So if you got a baby girl and you need to do baby girl layouts, that one's your color. Blueberry bushel. See, like I'm getting, I'm getting it all over the place. everybody's day I guess we can just talk about that and see what you guys got going on I'm gonna be that's gonna be that's just look at all the pretty colors Grape jam. And this is why I love mixed media. I mean, first of all, it's messy. Who doesn't love to get messy? And second of all, it's so pretty. Didn't get quite enough, did I? See, by the time I get done swatching, I get, like, the hang of it. So these last two, I totally got it. These guys are like a hot mess. Yee. And then last, but definitely not least, the one that I will probably run out of the first. The first, yeah. Run out of first and need to replace right away is this smoking hot color right here. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be all over my holiday album. All right, so that is gonna do it, you guys. There is the swatch, there is the velveteen glaze. And when it dries, it dries completely matte, no shine at all. And I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and go pick up some stuff. I'll see you tomorrow, bye.